<laughs> where well, I was born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. My uh, my pops actually went to Juilliard, he studied concert piano, and then he went and got his uh, master's at University of North Texas, which is about 35 miles north of Fort Worth. Uh, he started up a copy band, pay his way through through that, and a uh, 17-year-old girl walked in and got the gig. That became my mom. Two years later, they got married. Uh, and together, they started the uh, first multi-track recording studio in Fort Worth called Buffalo Sound Studios. Uh, they had my older brother, and then they had me, Jason, and then me. Um, and, <clears throat> yeah, basically, I grew up in a studio. My mom had a country record deal for a brief stint in the early 80s with MCA Nashville. And I just grew up around all different types of music. And I spent a lot of time just writing and writing. I uh, went to TCU for college, played in different bands all around Texas. I was a theater major in college. And then after college, I uh, you know, went out west for a little bit, kind of discovered myself, and finally came to Nashville and said I need to really, really start writing songs. And, uh, and then people were liking what I'm doing. This was probably about a year and a half ago. And now here we are. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think all artists feel that because there, there is a certain insecurity to do what we do because no matter who you are, when you first start out, you're going to get rejection. You're going to get a lot of no's before you get a yes. And it, it, that's part of finding yourself as an artist. So absolutely, because it's not easy. It's not easy doing what we do. Um, and, and, and it's a long road to find what truly works for you as an artist. And um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I kind of got a late start on the guitar. I was always writing songs, but I got a late start. I didn't really start really picking the guitar until late high school. And, you know, in college I started doing all the <clears throat> touring and stuff and playing around different clubs and get get my feet wet. And even my, my folks were kind of like, hey, make sure you get this degree. You know, hey, you know, we've been in the music business. We know how tough it is. And uh, I think they saw that it's pretty much all I wanted to do. I, I love doing it. And, and there's a, on my uh, EPK, a short film, at the very end I talk about how you don't do this because it's easy. You do it because you love it. And that's, that's where I'm at with that. You know, as far as who inspired me to play the guitar, is that what you're asking me? You know, I think, I, like I said, I was always writing songs, but... I really said, okay, I want to play the guitar and I want to find who I am as an artist after watching Dave Matthews play, oddly enough. I mean, I grew up in Cow Fort Worth called Cowtown, and I listened to a lot of country music and I always enjoyed singing it. You know, I sang with <clears throat> different bands before I even picked up the guitar. But when I saw Dave Matthews play and the way he went about it, it was just different. And that inspired me. And really to this day, I always strive to, to do something different, but still keep it within the frame and true to who I am as an artist. Well, you know, Nashville is, is, is such a great musical community. You know, the songwriters are the backbone of the town, and, but then there's also incredible producers that work with the song. It all kind of, it's, it's interesting. If you get in that scene, you see how it all works, and it works very cohesive, and it, it's a really cool thing to be a part of. Mark Wright, who is the head of my label, Showdog Universal, he's the president. He's also a very musical person. He produces. And he, along with Don Cook, who produced uh, a lot of the Brooks and Dunn records and wrote a lot of those hits with them, uh, and a guy named Mark Colley, who uh, was a uh, country music star in the 90s, and then all, he also is co-producing it. I met Mark Colley. He was one of the first writers to kind of take me under his wing and, and introduce me to a lot of the songwriters. And we together started writing songs. And then we met Don. And then Don Cook said, hey, I like what we're doing here. Let's, let's write some songs together. So then at that point, I was singing on some demos as well as writing with Don and Mark and a few other writers here and there that would be willing to, to write with an, an un, unknown name. And then uh, <clears throat> at that point, Don Cook and Mark had decided that we had a pretty good base of material to take in, and Don Cook knew about the Show Dog Universal merge merger, and thought, and him and Don Don Cook and Mark Wright had never worked together, but they've been longtime friends, and so Don Cook took what we had been doing into Mark Wright. 
Mark Wright was really into it. The next day, he brought me in and said, hey, play me a couple songs. So I sat in his office, did pretty much what I just did here, just played my guitar, sang a few songs. And he said, man, I think we, we could probably do something. And then we spent the next six to eight months, all of us as a team, Mark Colley, Mark Wright, Don Cook, and myself, along with a lot of great writers that wanted to be a part of the project. And we just started writing. And the great thing about that is they were able to pull a lot of what I was trying to do out of me. And that's what this record's all about. It's a great introduction to who I am, and I'm very excited about people hearing it. Sleepy Little Town was the first song written by a, uh, a guy named Chris Stapleton, who I am the biggest fan of. He is one of the most phenomenal vocalists you'll ever hear, and just an incredible writer. And I've actually co-wrote another song with him that's on the record called Green Eyes and Red Sunglasses. Uh, good kind of like Credence bluesy thing that's going to be a lot of fun to do live. Um, and then the other song is a song called Rhythm of the Radio. Just a great melody, good little feel tune, kind of kind of summer, top down kind of thing, written by a guy named Eric Pasley, who I'm a big fan of and I've also written some songs with. So, yeah, props to those guys. 